In the blazing sunshine at the UAE's Desert Al Ain airport, a twin propeller beach craft equipped with salt flares stands ready to fly into the storm at a moment's notice. Its objective, to make it rain. Researchers from the NCMS, the National Center of Meteorology and Seismology, are testing a method to make up for the country's water scarcity. They call it cloud seeding. If we've got a mild updraft, we usually burn two flares. If we've got a, got a good updraft, uh, we'll burn four, sometimes six flares in, into, that, into the cloud. In these images provided by the NCMS, the jet is getting ready to fire the salt flares into promising clouds to increase condensation and trigger a downpour. Water is a precious resource in the UAE, which ranks among the world's top 10 most arid countries. Its annual rainfall stands at 78 millimeters, compared, for instance, to more than 1,200 millimeters in the United Kingdom. We're in communication with the operations on the radio, and as soon as there's rain, there's lots of excitement, uh, especially when it's sitting the ground. We, ah, we've got rain, we've got good rain in the area. We can hear the guys in the office are happy. To cover its surging water needs driven by rapid economic growth and a large influx of foreigners, the UAE has resorted mainly to desalination. It's the second largest producer of desalinated water in the world after neighboring Saudi Arabia. But NCMS researchers say rain triggered through cloud seeding is a much cheaper and more potent alternative. In 2010 or 2009, there was a heavy downpour in the United Arab Emirates and our planes were working at full capacity. If we compare this amount of rain to the water production of a desalination plant, studies have shown that it was the equivalent of nine years of desalinated water production in a plant like Tawila in Abu Dhabi. Cloud seeding is still in an experimental phase with the technique also being tested by the US and China. Additionally, the UAE is looking into methods to preserve the rains that hit the ground. It has around 130 dams and levees with a storage capacity of about 120 million cubic meters. In addition to deciding when the rain falls, the Gulf country now aspires not to waste a single drop.